good morning everyone my hair is like all kind of weird right now uh so since the big news right now is all about hurricanes i'm going to kind of just uh point out a couple things that they're not talking about in, on the news and uh some of the things i saw yesterday and this morning that really baffled me a day before a hurricane's supposed to hit now me and my family kind of got a little tiff, you know, about this whole hurricane. Uh, the hurricane is going to be a strong hurricane in the Gulf. By the time it hits us, it may, may be a Category 1. You know, I'll be surprised if it's any stronger than that. And it's still going to be a, a, a big hurricane, but it's moving so fast. I mean, it's going to hit the coast of Florida I think around like 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock and then it's supposed to be by 8 o'clock that night it's supposed to be up in Georgia somewhere so you know it's not anything that's going to sit around and linger now if it changes its mind and it does stop then that's a different story but right now Jacksonville you know they'll, if you do something stupid you're going to have stupid stuff happen that being said I've seen a lot of stupidity this morning leaving my neighborhood Okay, one, people still have their trash cans out in front of their house, empty trash cans, and, you know, our trash gets dump, dumped on Thursday morning, so all this stuff's been out since Thursday, and here it is Tuesday, you know, and when I say a bunch, I'm talking about probably every third home, you know, and then uh, I was driving down one of the back roads to get out of the neighborhood, and there was four houses. It looked like they ended up gutting the kitchen and gutting the, you know, the back room and had all this trash sitting out by the road, which is not going to get picked up until next Friday. So why would you put all this flying debris that's going to be hitting other people's homes, you know, why in the hell would someone do this a day before a hurricane? I mean, they got plywood out there. They got little mini you know i mean where they cut up walls and cut it into squares that stuff becomes basically frisbees in the hurricane you know um but i i mean there was people that had like half sheets of plywood when the wind picks that up it's going to go for a very far away you know and it's going to hit people's cars hit people's stuff uh, you know it just this is i don't know if it's ignorance stupidity or just uh, I don't even know. I mean, are you that? Your job has to be done right before the hurricane so all the trash is sitting out there wouldn't get blown away. So, anyways, that's just, uh, you know, some things that a lot of people aren't thinking of is, uh, you know, I don't need a flashlight, you know, because it's going to hit during the day. Well, if the power goes out, I'm pretty sure it's going to become nighttime. You know, and there are going to be people... Even on the weakest of storms, somebody always loses power. Here's a big old tree branch just sitting in the uh, sitting on the side of the road. So, anyways, uh, and uh, last night I went to Walmart just to pick up a few things for my mom, and I grabbed some snacks and uh, I forgot what else I grabbed. Oh, I got grabbed some Nyquil, you know, but. I'm in there and I, I happened to walk by. There was four loaves of bread. Now there was more than four total, but the kind that we like to eat. There was four loaves of bread left. I grabbed two, one for me, one for my mom. And uh, <laughs> people that you don't need two. It's like yeah, I do. And uh, you know, but it just people were sitting there. You know, uh, especially on the water aisle. There was no water left. And everybody's like, well, what are we going to do? And I'm like, you got to fucking fall. I didn't tell him this. I was like, you got to faucet. You know, in an emergency, you can drink the water out of your faucet. You know, it may not be the most healthy, healthiest thing, but it will not kill you. <laughs> but it just, it's, I weep for humanity. Just some of the stupidity that I see out here, you know, uh, people leaving you know, plastic lawn furniture in their yard. Oh, it'll be fine. You know. I haven't heard about this. Uh, this isn't, this is a little sidebar. But, 
I heard about a law saying that if a cop is on the side of the road, you have to move over to the other lane. And uh, my question is, what if there's not another lane? Like if you're on a two lane road, there's an accident here. Ooh, a nice one. That BMW at fault. Uh, but, um, you know, if it's a two lane road, and there's a cop on the side of the road. How do you get over to the other lane? So, anyways, it's just a little thing I was thinking about. And I don't know why, but I think about a lot of different things and that other people just don't think about. But, uh, back to the hurricane, back to the hurricane. Okay, so, you know, just go outside, pick up all the stuff that, you know, if you can, if you can pick it up, so can a hurricane. Let's just put it that way. You know, if you can't physically pick it up, most likely a hurricane's not going to either. So, actually, you know what the big thing that I'm thinking about? Is a hurricane's going to come through on uh, Wednesday. I'm wondering if Salvation Army is going to be open because I don't think a lot of people is going to go shopping at Salvation <laughs> On Wednesdays, uh, they have uh, half price. Most, most of the store is half price except for a couple little things but pretty pretty much 80% of the store they on Wednesdays they just mark the whole thing half price and uh, next Monday which I don't even know oh shit what the hell I'm sorry guys y'all can't see what I'm seeing so there's this box truck it's a tree service and they just went like straight up off the road and damn near flipped the trailer with uh, some kind of big machine on the back. Oh, it's like one of them lift things where it lifts you up into the trees. Uh, but it's a little tiny one. But almost completely lifted the... Uh, that, dude, that dude's wiping the sweat off his face. He know he done effed up. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah... Holy shit, he went off the road and the trailer like kicked sideways. I don't know if y'all heard it. I heard it, but I don't know if y'all heard it on this. Damn. See, this is the kind of shit that I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Because I'll be out and I see all this crazy stuff and I have no way to put it on this camera. I done seen a wreck. I done seen all this debris on the side of the road. And now I see a trailer almost flip. But this happens to me all the time. I mean, this legitimately happens to me all the time. Is I don't know if I just I'm more aware. I don't know if I just pay attention, or I don't know if it's just it's drawn to me. I don't know. I really, really don't know. But I guess <laughs> my entire life, everybody who knows me, everybody who's been with me, has a story about being in a vehicle, driving around, and seeing some stupid shit. Everybody in my family who's ever been in this seat. Uh, I don't know what that was back there. Anyway, I done completely got off track on what I was saying. I have no idea what I was saying once that happened. Oh yeah, Salvation Army. So I don't even know if I want to tell y'all this. Because I want to be there by myself with the whole store. But I know it ain't going to happen. But on Monday, Memorial Day, is it? No, Labor Day. September 4th, I think it is. Or whatever the next Monday is. From today's date of whenever y'all see this uh, Salvation Army is doing half price the entire store so all the furniture all the little bric-a-brac all the clothing all the shoes all the appliances everything in the store the only thing I'm not a hundred percent sure about is the jewelry but I'm gonna find out either today or tomorrow whether the jewelry is gonna be half price and then they have their high dollar things that they keep in the cases I'm going to ask if that's going to be half price on uh, Memorial Day or whatever the next Monday. I don't know if it's Memorial Day or Labor Day. I think it's Labor Day. Pretty sure it's Labor Day. I don't know. I can't keep track of all these holidays. So we really only need one holiday. And that's a, a day to vote. Because that's the only thing all of us should do. You know, celebrate together. So, anyway, I'm not going to go down that road with you guys. Not on this video. So, and I do got a video that I'm trying to put together some little bullet points and trying to figure out, uh, you know, the proper way to say it because it's a 
one of the things you got to be careful on how you say it. So, but I'm putting together something too. Uh, there's so many videos I want to do, but I really got to figure out how to how I can add little clippets of videos, and then me do like a voiceover to videos. I just need to sit down one day and just spend a week and learn how to edit. I think I could learn it all in a week if I was just to do nothing else. So, anyways, um, yeah, until something else crazy happens, uh, stay safe. Uh, you know, pretty much if you're in Florida, you're going to be affected in some way by this hurricane. If you're on the West Coast or the, they call it the Big Bend area, you're going to, you're going to be in for a time. Uh, you know, if, if you're not in a good home, just leave. It's not worth it. Um, and this is another reason why I always say everybody should own a van. And if you had a van, you could take more shit. And then if you had a, a Toyota Corolla like the one next to me, you're not going to load up a bunch of stuff like that. You know. But, anyways, that's that's just something a little sidebar. I love, I love vans, and I really wish I had one, but this is the closest thing I can get to a van. You see, I took a, take all the seats out to make it as close to a van as possible. Well, I dropped the seats in this one. I didn't take them out. The other one, I took them out. But, um, you know, make sure you got your medicine for the next few days. Make sure you got plenty of snacks and food. Um, I went and bought six bags of that little power-up stuff. It's just so damn good. And uh, I introduced my mom to uh, the power-ups and some other little things that I've replaced all the cookies and candies with. It's another little, uh, it's still sugary, but it's the healthiest sugar I could find. And, uh, but I gave her some of that. She's like, God damn, this is good. You know, I mean, she was like, I want, I want like a whole bunch of it. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, uh, I do know some stuff. Like people always like to, you know, discredit me and think that I don't, I'm full of shit and everything else. But I do know some very interesting stuff. And there's a lot of it I will never say on this channel. You know, it's, it's. It's things that, like, I'll tell you all a bunch of in information, even, you know, if it negatively affects me, I will still tell you some stuff, but there's some stuff that you, you just, that's, uh, it's locked, you know, and that's why people keep telling me stuff. But I try to do, uh, subtle hints, so if you're really paying attention, you'll catch on, but there's, uh, they call them Iggy's, and if you, if you know, you know, but... And Iggy is like a little, uh, a little Siggy, uh, uh, Siggy, uh, <laughs> secret thing, uh, from back in the day, back in the uh, early 2000s. So, but yeah, if you know, if you, if you can catch all the Iggy's, you're going to be doing okay. Let's put it that way. So, anyways, I think I'm going to shut it down. I'm going over to this one little job and just making sure everything's cleaned up and, Know, making sure there's uh i'm gonna help her pick up some of the stuff out of her yard get it on the porch and just kind of help her get uh, her house situated too so but stay safe uh make sure you got uh preparations for the power going out make sure you got extra food medicine water uh, if you don't fill up a bathtub so you can flush the toilets um you know there's a couple things you can do and i, and I might make another you know uh, detailed hurricane video but for right now just uh, make sure your yards cleaned up make sure anything that's standing upright at least lay it down on the ground flat to where it doesn't uh, blow away or get knocked over by the wind so, and then kind of look at all the trees see if there's going to be any issues so, anyways peace love money I'm out